I'm Laura Whitmore and thank you for joining me this Sunday morning. Um, I wish we were talking under better circumstances and I've been debating whether I should, would or could come on air today. But this isn't about me. Yesterday we lost someone before their time. At age 40, Caroline Flack made the decision to take her own life and I want to talk about it. I want to talk about her and give her the respect that she deserves and that she didn't always get. Anyone who knew Caroline knew she was vivacious, loving and had a passion for life, which is why none of this makes sense. Caroline loved dancing. Um, Angels by Robbie Williams always reminds me of her because she danced so beautifully to it on Strictly. And I'm going to play that song after I've said what I want to say. Caroline loved music. She loved to dance. Um, we shared many a dance floor at gigs, festivals. I met her just shy of 10 years ago at V Festival and then we became friends. She was bubbly and for such a small stature commanded a room. She loved to laugh and had the most infectious chuckle. She also had many struggles. I'm not going to pretend that she was perfect, but as anyone. She lived every mistake publicly under the scrutiny of the media. Caroline loved to love. That's all she wanted. Which is why a show like Love Island was important to her because the show is about finding love, friendship, having a laugh. The problem wasn't the show. The show to work on is loving and caring and safe and protected. The problem is the outside world is not. Anyone who's ever compared one woman against another on Twitter, knocked someone because of their appearance, invaded someone else's privacy, who have made mean, unnecessary comments on an online forum, need to look at themselves. Sorry. To the press, the newspapers who create clickbait, who demonise and tear down success. We've had enough. I've seen journalists and Twitter warriors talk of this tragedy and who they themselves have twisted, twisted what the truth is. You don't have to tear down someone to feel good about yourself. So to listeners, be kind. Only you are responsible for how you treat others and what you put out in the world. I've had messages, I've been harassed for just doing my job and this is where the problem is. And I want to use my platform, this platform, to call people out because it's gone too far. Your words affect people. To paparazzi and tabloids looking for a cheap sell, to trolls hiding behind a keyboard. Enough. I'd like to thank BBC and ITV for the support that I've had. And those who supported my decision to come in today, as I felt it was the right thing to do. Thank you. To my boyfriend, the kindest man I know, and to the whole Love Island family who are in mourning of their colleague and friend and have been a great support over the last few hours. I love you. To everyone, be kind in what you say. I'm going to carry on today and get through this show, as that's what Caroline would say to do. Caroline, I'm so sad for you, for your family. I'm angry that you saw this as your only option, as I know how much love and support you had. I'm sorry you didn't know that. I'm not sure when, but I know I'll see you on a dance floor again. And I hope you're at peace and know that you are loved.